What's up, YouTube? ODSD General back again with some uh, different games here, actually. We got two different games for you guys today. We've got uh, Emerge NYC and Flashing Lights at the same time. Uh, we are going to be doing a Versus series. Now, I've done a couple of these in the past, about two years ago, so it's been quite some time since I've done one of these. Uh, I've had a few people ask me if I would do these again, and I always kind of said, yeah, maybe. Uh, just kind of always put it off because it wasn't something I really was like super interested in doing, but you know what? I've got, uh, you know, I've got Vegas Pro 15. Let's make some use out of it. Let's do some split screen videos, get some effects on here. Let's do some fun stuff with it, right? So we've got Emerge NYC versus Flashing Lights today anyways. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run these games for 30 minutes, starting at the menu. As you can see, the timer's already been counting down for about a minute here. So we're going to see which games get into the gameplay first, fastest, all that stuff, how the gameplay is. Uh, these games are both running on ultra settings, so bear that in mind as far as graphics go. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to get super in-depth with every gameplay feature, uh, with performance and all that stuff, because obviously gameplay features change, especially with both these games being technically early access. Um, performance is very hit and miss with Emerge NYC. Uh, you know, flashing lights is a little bit better with performance. Now, with that being said, they both ran pretty smooth for me, but I do have a higher end computer than the average person, so that's also something to keep in mind while watching these videos. So, if you're seeing these videos, uh, just bear in mind your computer strength versus my computer. I'm not going to have my specs up, but I might put like the recommended specs for each game uh, down below in the like a little description section or something in the video here. I'm not really sure if I want to do that yet or not. Uh, probably put them in there and see how it looks. Uh, at any rate, we get into Emerge NYC technically second, but we're actually kind of jumping into gameplay a little bit sooner. Uh, with flashing lights, we gotta pick our vehicle and everything like that. Technically, you can just go out to the garage and hop in whatever vehicles automatically spawned in, but uh, you don't usually want to do that. So, we've already got our first call on uh, flashing lights. We already had forced to call an Emerge NYC, and this is one of the larger calls, if not one of the largest fires, I think, in the the city. Um, that basically just said the same thing twice in a row for Emerge NYC. Anyways. So as far as Emerge NYC goes, we have a very large call. It's going to take a while for us to knock down this fire. So this fire is going to pretty much take up the whole entire time. Whereas, uh, you know, we've got flashing lights. Flashing lights tends to have smaller scale calls. Um, very quick and easy stuff that you don't really feel like you're obligated to stay in there and play out for like super long sessions. Whereas there's kind of a commitment to playing Emerge NYC. You can get smaller calls in Emerge NYC, but it feels like every time you play, uh, there's a lot more to getting out there. It takes longer to traverse the cities. Uh, it takes longer to get your trucks and stuff running, and because it is a more realistic and immersive experience, generally speaking, uh, you know, it's a little bit more work to actually, like, get stuff fixed and, uh, get into various situations. So a fire takes a lot more work to knock out an Emerge NYC than flashing lights, in my opinion. Now, you can see we're still trying to get set up so we can actually do something in Emerge NYC, whereas flashing lights, we've already been playing, driving ourselves for a little bit. Now, I could have chosen to drive in Emerge NYC, but I wanted to call the trucks over to me since we need a couple of different trucks to handle a fire like this, where we need a actual truck company to be able to access the roof and cut open these uh, shutter doors. And then we need the engine company to actually supply water. So I've got uh, a little bit of driving. You can see a little bit of first person here for Emerge NYC where I'm hopping into... Uh, to move the truck into a uh, position to get hooked up and everything. So, getting on scene with our first call in Emerge NYC, or not Emerge NYC, Flashing Lights. It's a really tough hopping between the two, a lot tougher than I remember it being. Anyways, Flashing Lights first call here. We're on scene for a uh, car crash. We've got a motor vehicle accident, and we're getting our first victim out, or I should say our only victim, so we've got to go check him, uh, kind of keep an eye on this guy, and do a quick kind of medical oriented call. Now, that's one thing that uh, Emerge NYC doesn't really have, is it doesn't really have the other factions really set up yet. There's a little bit of medical stuff, or at least there was in the past. I don't know if that's been reintegrated yet. I just saw when I went to record this today that Manhattan had been re-added re in, which it hadn't been in for a long time. Um, however, Flashing Lights does. Flashing Lights has medical, it has police, and they're pretty well integrated. In fact, I would argue that uh, they might even be uh, more interesting than the fire department as the fire department currently stands. 
Uh, with that being said, they're all pretty fun. They're all pretty well balanced as far as actual stuff goes. Um, when I say stuff, I mean gameplay elements, to clarify that. So, just uh, kind of more maneuvering here, trying to find a truck that never dispatched an Emerge NYC, so we're going back up to aerial view. Uh, in the meantime, we've just finished our first call over on the uh, flashing light side of things here. And uh, we're just kind of sitting there waiting for a second, looking around, just kind of looking at traffic, looking at our truck. Not really sure what I was doing at the time or what was going through my mind. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and return our stuff there, get in the truck and get ready to leave. Meanwhile, I've hopped into the uh, the truck. I did set the truck to auto leave. The, uh, the station I managed to hop in, unfortunately I almost crashed as a result because the AI was trying to drive and I kind of hijacked the truck from the AI, uh, deciding to drive myself. You can do a lot of crashing in both of these guys, so forgive me for that. There's a lot of poor driving, especially in flashing lights. I was driving around much faster than I typically do during the course of a normal episode just because I had this 30 minute time, or time in mind when I was doing this. Oh man, look at that, uh, coming up on Emerge NYC here, coming up on that fire, all that black smoke billowing off the building, it looks so cool. You can see the frames are kind of chugging there, at least they are in my, uh, my video playback, but you do see that in uh, flashing lights a little bit too as I travel around. Uh, you get little loading spurts here and there, so you see it, uh, it kind of suffers as a result, but typically not too badly. Um, like I said, both games actually running surprisingly smooth. Uh, not so much a surprise, I suppose, for flashing lights, but definitely for Emerge NYC. It's always kind of a pleasant surprise when you get in there and uh, the game is actually running decently. You know, I can I can bear a lot of the other bugs, but the gameplay performance has always been a giant pet peeve of mine when it comes to Emerge NYC. And uh, once again, for me at least today here, it was... Uh, it was enjoyable it wasn't really an issue so I was very happy with that uh, so we're still trying to get set up on the Emerge NYC call here we're still trying to get our uh, our truck company just got there on scene obviously we had to drive that and we've got uh, gotta get water supply and all that other stuff going here I accidentally hook it up to the uh, to the wrong outlet from the uh, from the engine to the truck and it's not pumping water kind of takes me a second to figure out why so I'm kind of looking around trying to figure that out right now. You can see it's like, oh, no, nope, that's definitely plugged in. So I go around, and uh, I knew there was one on the back, so we just hooked it up on the back. Line's now charged, so now we're supplying uh, water over to our truck company. So we're going to go ahead and hop up on the ladder, kind of show off the ladder, just uh, spray some water up on the roof. It's not really a point because there isn't really any holes or ways to access the roof from up here. But just in case the roof collapses or if I knock it down from the inside somehow, uh, there's a chance water's gonna go in and kind of help me out a little bit that way, so. Let's see, we're just uh, kind of controlling that from up there. Meanwhile, we're actually fighting a fire on uh, the flashing light side of things, too, so you guys get a little bit of a better idea of what the firefighting mechanics for each game looks like. Obviously, a much more realistic affair when it comes to Emerge NYC, when it comes to fighting fires. You don't have a, a radial dial that counts down to the fire being extinguished or anything like that. Uh, which is nice. I definitely appreciate the more realistic aspect of it. Although, once again, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with flashing lights approach. It's a more casual approach. It's especially great if you've got younger kids or something. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for them to approach that sort of game, and it makes it a little bit more clear and obvious that you're actually having an effect on the fire. Uh, Emerging YC used to have steam and stuff that would come up from the fires to let you know that uh, you were actually extinguishing them, and those have been disabled because of performance, so... It's kind of hard to tell sometimes if you're actually having an effect on the fire or not. Uh, but, you know, that's uh, that's one of those things. I would rather not know if I'm getting the fire put out or not than have a huge sack in performance. So it's kind of a kind of a crappy trade-off that you have to make. But, uh, you know, it's a necessary one for sure. So we're still kind of doing setup here. We haven't, we haven't gotten to actually any real proper firefighting in Emerge NYC here. Meanwhile, we've got gone and done a couple calls already on uh, flashing lights uh, trying to switch out I went to switch uh, careers and wasn't paying too much attention went into the vehicle selection as opposed to the career selection so we're gonna go ahead and swap over so you can see here kind of showing off the fact that there is multiple police factions stuff like that oh I've tried to show that off for Emerge NYC but we like I said one had a large call and two there isn't really much in the way of other faction stuff there's a little bit of medical, but I don't know if there's any calls that actually utilize medical anymore at this point. 
Um, I think there's a couple calls I have, like, uh, injured people from, like, inside the fires and stuff. I don't know that you can actually do anything to assist them as medical. Um, so, nothing to really show off or worth showing off in there. So, we're done with our t first 10 minutes of these 30-minute uh, showcase for each of these mods. So, we've already finished up firefighting. We're moving on to place with flashing lights. Showing off a second faction. Still, just barely now, after 10 minutes, getting into our first call on Emerge NYC, our first and only call on Emerge NYC, just barely getting involved with it. So you can definitely see what I was talking about earlier, where when you get into a game like Emerge NYC, it's much more of a commitment just to even get set up, get going on a basic call to, to breach into a building. Uh, you, sometimes you need multiple apparatus and stuff, and when you've got a lot of people, it's great, but when you're playing by yourself, if you're more of a casual player, you don't have a lot of friends to play with or whatever, uh, it's definitely much more difficult to fare to kind of get going and uh, just go in and knock out these fires. Now, with that being said, it's also a lot more gratifying, in my opinion, too, for when you do get a fire knocked out. It's a lot more intense. Uh, it's a lot more difficult. So I would rather fight a fire in Emerge NYC over flashing lights if it comes down to it. Um, but, you know, once again, the other things that really got taken into consideration for most people is performance, stuff like that. Um ease of access, ease of uh, learning, intuition and stuff. You've got no real intuitive stuff for uh, Emerge NYC. A lot of people go in there. They've got some tutorials now. Most people don't do the tutorials. Uh, you know, but it's one of those things that's not something that's really intuitive or easy to pick up without doing tutorials. You definitely want to do those tutorials to kind of figure out how to play the game. Um, or have somebody who knows how to play that or play the game and knows the controls who can help you uh, with flashing lights You really don't need that the flashing lights game is pretty intuitive as far as controls and stuff like that go So you it's pretty easy to just pick up and play flashing lights uh, So we're nearing completion on our third call on flashing lights our first call is a cop over here I uh, just arrested a uh, suspect who is uh, shoplifting so we're going to go ahead and uh, return the items he stole back to the uh, shop clerk or whoever it is that was uh, calling and complaining about it. And uh, we got him in to uh, custody. Now that's kind of cool. Now one thing they changed on this call is I've had shoplifting calls before. Is when I went to actually initiate a uh, discussion with her, it actually showed me CCTV footage. And I use the term footage loosely. It showed me a still image of a... Uh, suspect in their appearance so I kind of had a feeling it was the guy that walked past when I was walking past him but I didn't obviously have a reason to stop him at the time so once we got up to the uh, shopkeeper and they showed us CCTV footage of the guy that literally walked right past uh, we went ahead and went back and talked to the guy now with something like that I almost feel like they need more pedestrians because of that in uh, flashing lights Flashing Lights only has a couple of uh, different pedestrian models. There's only like, I think, five or six, probably. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, if you're going to start doing CCTV footage, if you got a pack street full of, uh, full of pedestrians, which is pretty uncommon, but it might happen, you don't want two or three looking, uh, got, like, two or three people looking exactly the same as your suspect with, like, no way to tell the difference. So, that would be kind of nice. Or either do that or start making some unique models for some of the calls that might pop up specifically who might not necessarily pop up in uh you know just standard circulation although personally i'd prefer like all npcs to be in standard circulation uh so we're approaching the halfway mark here we're about 16 minutes so about another minute and a, a little less than a minute and a half we'll be at uh the halfway mark here pretty bad crash uh, that's not the worst crash actually in flashing lights either. I got distracted on one call and smacked right into a light pole or something. Um, with that being said, I did say there was a lot of crashes coming up, especially in flashing lights. So, most of the crash and stuff should be, well, I was going to say it should be done for Emerge NYC, but there's going to be a little bit of a different kind of crashing here with Emerge NYC, which you guys will see closer to the end of that call. Uh, so the fire getting knocked out pretty well. Uh, and basically it's just kind of, uh, you know, just same thing over and over for a long period of time with the merge NYC. So you're just sitting there with the uh, water on the, uh, the fire and stuff, just knocking it out. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely more challenging though, when it comes to Emerge NYC. I'm actually starting to get back to the point where I actually like Emerge NYC again. Still think it needs a lot of work. It's a flawed game and it's had some 
really tough years and struggling years with development here for like two or three years now where it's been close to unplayable because of performance and bugs and uh, for whatever reason over the last uh, several months four or five months since coronavirus really started maybe I noticed it and a couple other people have commented on it to me uh, performance has vastly improved uh, you know so that's a huge thing obviously there's still bugs and stuff like that but they're working on getting those nailed out uh, one of the biggest issues I really have right now is the fact that they disabled all the other maps and stuff now I don't know if they're doing overhauls on the other maps to make them more performance friendly they said they have I, I don't actually know what they're doing to improve performance for other maps such as Manhattan or uh, or Montgomery County but they are obviously taking them out to keep them out to make changes and alterations to the calls and to performance in some way, shape, or form. Um, all right, sorry about that, guys. I got uh, pulled away for a minute there, so kind of left off in the middle of this. So at any rate, a little bit lost on where we are now that I've uh, stepped away, but we've gotten our uh, rest in, so we're on our... Uh, I think our third call, now going into our fourth call for Flashing Lights, still working our one and only call for, uh, for Merge NYC here. Now, obviously, these games have evolved into very different beasts, so I will definitely say that. Now, uh, at this time, it's probably more appropriate to do Into the Flames versus Flashing Lights, because Flashing Lights, despite ha supposed to uh, have a, uh, a police department uh, medical area, that's terribly phrased. I'm sorry, guys. Just brain completely died now. I'm, like, super distracted and unfocused. Uh, Emerge NYC is supposed to have both medical and police on top of the currently existing fire department. Um, obviously, Flashing Lights has all three factions as well, whereas Into the Flames is concentrating only on the fire department. However, it is probably a more appropriate matchup because, despite what Emerge NYC C is supposed to have it really only has a fire department as a functional entity and uh, it's been like that for years so uh, I don't know maybe we'll do another matchup if you guys are interested in this enough people watch it uh, you know definitely we can do that if you guys uh, say so throw that up uh, might do some other matchups too uh, obviously 112 operator is released so we might do 112 operator versus 911 operator show off some of the differences between the two games uh, show how it's changed or something. I was thinking that might be kind of interesting. Uh, aside from that, I don't know. Uh, Into the Flames, obviously, like I said, we might match that up against either Merge NYC or Flashing Lights. We could go either way with that. Or we could go against something else like Nostrif, maybe. Could be potentially interesting with that. Um, so definitely let me know what you guys want to see uh, in the comments below or on the Discord, too. But comments is preferable because then I get engagement points with YouTube, which is like brownie points with them, and I definitely appreciate it if you guys do comment or, you know, thumbs up. Even thumbs down is kind of good. It breaks my heart a little bit, but, like, it's engagement, so any engagement's engagement, regardless of whether or not it's good or bad. Uh, so we're about down to 11 minutes anyways, and as you can see on the flashing light side of things, I forgot how to hook up the tow truck. I don't do the tow truck very often, as you guys can tell, so I had to go back in and look up the controls. Uh, still fighting the same fire in Emerge NYC, and seeing that. that's really all I can say. There isn't really much more to say when you're initially in here fighting the fire. Um, obviously, oxygen in air and stuff is in both games. Uh, it's a much bigger aspect of Emerge NYC currently, is having to manage your oxygen, having to manage your health, than it really is in flashing lights. Um, sometimes you you have to risk your health in flashing lights and you might need heals, but usually if you're getting shot at or something, it's only a couple of shots before you go down anyways. Uh, I'm kind of curious how, if, uh, Emerge NYC when they integrate place, if they do, um, what that's going to be like as far as like how many times you could potentially be shot. Is it just going to be like, if you're shot once, you're probably dead? Are you going to be able to take a few shots? I'm quite curious about that. I really don't know how they're going to represent that. I'm very, very much wondering how that's going to be. Uh, back on the flashing light side of things, we're in our tow truck here now. As you guys can see, we already impounded a car and everything. Things begin to get kind of derpy from here, so I do apologize. I uh, decided, you know what? Let's show off first person. Let's show off the uh, 
the computer in first person because it's not something we see very often in gameplay footage, at least not stuff that I do. So let's go ahead, go into first person, scan some cars and see what we can come up with. And of course I find a stolen vehicle, so despite being in a tow truck, I was like, let's get into a pursuit, you know? So there it is right now, stolen, stolen van just showed up, the one I was just mentioning. So they, uh, they kind of pull over because I've got my siren on, so that's like the automatic AI. And then I try to actually pull him over and actually stop him with the game's uh, designated like pre-built-in systems for traffic stops, and he just bolts off. You can tell he's, he's much faster than me in this tow truck. Tow truck's not very fast, as it is. Uh, it's a pretty heavy vehicle, so maybe if I got to this van, it would be fine. Then the game tried to throw me for a little bit of a loop. So I made a pretty big mistake there. I went to shut off my uh, my computer, and I ended up losing control of the truck, and I didn't have enough uh, torque to get back up this hill and uh, continue the pursuit. So we're kind of trying to like drive backwards to get back up onto the uh, to the road, so we can spin around, try to continue the pursuit. Um, one of the big downsides to uh, flashing lights versus, say, something like uh, GTA 5 LSPDFR is that the vehicles disappear pretty quick once they're out of view. So it can be pretty tough to track a vehicle down for a pursuit like this if you lose sight of them. They're pretty much gone. Now, I did see a van coming on. You guys can see it right now. That's kind of a rack and driving all over the road. So I decided to spin around and try to pursue him. And uh, didn't really go super great. Once again, it's a tow truck. Not a pursuit car, so wasn't able to really spin around and uh, build up enough speed to catch back up with the van that was driving erratically. I don't know if that was the same van we were uh, pursuing initially or if he just happened to freak out because he was passing by me while I had my sirens on. He was trying to pull over and didn't know what to do. So, you know, just driving along, don't see him. A little bit of a loading spike caused me to crash there, so... See that van, so I decided to pull up my uh, my computer here and uh, scan his plates. And that is not the same van, it's a completely different van. So we lost our suspect, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, anyways, we're down to uh, about seven and a half minutes, a little over seven and a half minutes. I, I could say exactly the time, you guys can see the exact time. I don't even need to be... Uh, General, I can be the exact time, you guys will know exactly, or even if I don't say the time, you guys will know exactly how much time, so I don't know why I am. That's typically what I do, though. When there's not a timer or something, I'm saying we've roughly got this much time left in the video. No need for it. Uh, at any rate, guys, you can once again see one of the issues with Emerge NYC over there on the other screen. Just hands full of tools and stuff. You know, we've got to get up on the roof. We've basically extinguished the fire on the inside of this warehouse. Uh... However, we need to get up and we need to get the stuff that's inside the ceiling extinguished, which means we need to cut open the ceiling or break open the uh, the you know the, uh, the the ceiling or cut open the roof or whatever to be able to access that fire to extinguish it. So, you know, I'm grabbing a pipe call, I'm grabbing a hook. We've got a K12 to cut open the roof. I feel like they, I mean, they've definitely changed how the roof is cut, but I feel like they changed it a little bit more recently. So I tried getting inside to see if there's any possible way for me to like reach either the pike pole or the hookup to the ceiling, but it's a raised ceiling, so it's probably like a two-story tall ceiling. Uh, I'm trying to extend it out and get it up to that to see if we could just break it from the inside and access the flames from the ground level. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't really proving viable, so we had to go up and we had to get a, uh, a ladder out to uh, get up onto the roof to access that and cut that open. Um, over on the flashing light side of things, despite the fact that we've only got six minutes left, we've switched over to medical, and uh, we're playing as medical here. And, uh, yeah, just waiting. So, it's kind of, uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of shows you how many calls, how different these games really are when it comes down to gameplay. That's what's really interesting about the side-by-side, -side, is that among the emergency fan community. That's the light pole I talked about where I got distracted, guys. That, uh, there was a lot of bad driving that episode. That one was because I got distracted away from the game. Anyways, uh, you know, seeing this side by side and actually watching it back in replay, it really hits me just how different these games have become. I mean, these games have never been really that similar, I'll be honest with you. But 
despite that, like, over years of development, they've only grown further apart in their uh, general focus, I guess you could say. Um, Merge NYC's thing has always been uh, a very realistic experience, a very mer immersive, detailed uh, firefighting experience, and, you know, they were supposed to bring that to play scene in medical, and obviously that's not really happened yet. Whereas, you know, flashing lights is a very casual experience on the other hand. It's something that's easily accessible by a lot of people. Uh, and it's easy to pick up and play with little to no issue. Of course, it's uh, it's not quite as nice looking. You know, it doesn't look necessarily as realistic and the engines and stuff don't look as detailed. Uh, there's less tools to use and stuff. So there's some definitely big trade-offs with this. Uh, like I said, I kind of talked about the performance a little bit more than I meant to, but it's hard to not talk about Emerge NYC and bring up performance. Um, it's, of course, a pretty sizable issue that a lot of people face with that game is that uh, performance for it isn't very good. Uh, aside from that, we're still trying to get this uh, fire extinguished, still trying to get up on this roof. One of the issues I have with this K-12 up on the roof now is that... Um, when you're standing, it doesn't seem to cut or it doesn't highlight, so you have to, like, you can see me trying to access the, and then you see me, like, getting down on my knees, and it starts highlighting the, um, the roof that I'm on while I'm facing down. And so, you know, even while I'm halfway on the other roof, if I try to, like, turn around or wherever while crouched, I end up falling through, so. Pretty stupid. Definitely an obnoxious thing. It's something I hope they uh, change or tweak. Now, I could just kind of cheese it, and you see me doing this a little bit later on, is that I'm able to hit through the uh, through the roof without cutting it open with a pike pole or with a hook to break the ceiling open, and I could fight the fire from the basement then. Um, but it's not as fun. The other advantage to actually cutting the roof open is that it does give you vertical ventilation. The ventilation definitely makes a big difference. You guys could see how big and uh, smoky that fire was. There was a lot of really thick black smoke. And uh, some of you guys are giggling out there right now, and if you're not, that's okay. You're grown adults, that just means. At any rate, uh, some fires, and this one's not really one that you see an advantage to ventilation. Some of them, though, are it's a very integral part. It's very necessary to actually operate in these fires is to actually have some form of ventilation. Uh, so having the ability to vertically ventilate these buildings and stuff to cut up in the roofs and stuff is a, a big, huge, important thing. And with uh, with flashing lights, on the other hand, when it comes to the firefighting aspect of it, like I said, it's just not as detailed. You really don't see that as much. Um, yeah, I don't know. But for an overall experience, I definitely typically would recommend flashing lights currently. Um, although I do find myself once again saying this, and I've, I've said it at least in my, I think my previous video for Emerge NYC, is I find the game is uh, improving more and more, and it seems to be on an upward trend once again for the first time in years. And I'm absolutely thrilled by that, I'm very happy, but I've been very critical of the game, and it's one of those things where it's like, I'm critical of the game, I keep coming back and keep being critical. Not because I hate the game, not because I have anything against Raph or anybody else there personally, even if I've criticized him directly. Uh, it's because I love the concept of Emerge NYC, I want to see it succeed. Um, but, you know, I need to try and hold them accountable as much as I can being both a consumer. I, I bought my copy just like everybody else. And, you know, as uh, somebody with a little bit of a platform to talk on, I'm not really a big YouTuber by any means, way, shape, or form, but, uh, you know, I've got a little bit of a voice in the emergency community, so I try to use that where I can, that if I see a developer taking what I, at least I, and, you know, in this case, a lot of other people with Emerging OAC, view as missteps by the, uh, by the development team, I'm going to try and call those out as best I can. I try to be constructive about it. Of course, it's not always easy um, pointing it out. The fact is, is I don't really have much of a game development background. I've only done some minor modding and stuff. Uh, I'm getting kind of off track, though. With that, we're winding down to our last minute here. You can see, I actually, in the course of six minutes, I've already done two emergency calls for the, uh, for the EMS. We're winding down to our last 45 seconds. Still on the sink call. Still haven't extinguished this fire for uh, for Emerge NYC. Just now getting it extinguished. Fire is just finally knocked out. And it really, once again, does illustrate the differences in these games and the, the type of players it's looking to accommodate. So if you guys are looking for an immersive, detailed experience for firefighting, something that 
can prove to be challenging. Uh, Emerge NYC is definitely one to very strongly consider currently. Uh, performance, like I said, has been an issue with it in the past. I'm not going to get too much into the performance, though, because like I said, that's a big issue. Uh, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.